Hi, I'm Dr. Sharon Colasso Dias. I'm a prosthodontist and implantologist, and I run Lifetime Dental, which is a multi speciality dental practice in Marathalli. There are certain conditions which uh, are more likely to require bone grafts for dental implants. If you've had a rough or a difficult extraction with a lot of bone loss in during, during that extraction, there is chances that you may need a bone graft. You may also need a bone graft if you're doing the implant procedure after many years after doing the extraction. It means if you've had the extraction done 10, 12, 15, 20 years ago, then the bone could have reduced in size and width and you might need a bone graft. You may also need a bone graft if you have had uncontrolled metabolic diseases like diabetes due to which you've had a lot of bone loss. The most common reason why you might need a bone graft is if you've had periodontitis which is commonly called pyoria. That means a lot of bone loss because of gum disease. Do you need a bone graft or you don't? That we can find out from conventional x-rays like an OPG or an RVG which will tell you about the height of bone loss. In order to find out about the width of the bone loss, you can have a CBCT, which is a 3D CT scan, which will can tell you about the width of the bone that you have or that you might need. 